uh, good afternoon. I'm so glad that you guys are with us today. This is uh, really exciting for myself and my colleagues. Uh, admitted Dolphin Day is, 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 is just tremendous. And uh, uh, we want to make sure that you feel welcome um, at school. And, uh, and this is the beginning of that feeling welcome. Uh, today, we're going to hear from three people. Uh, one of them is myself, Matt Cook. I'm a librarian, and I'll be talking about the Johns Barb Room Library. Um, Abby and Brooke, would you like to introduce yourselves, or do you want to do it when your section comes up? I think I might even have a slide where I get introduced, Matt, so I'll hold off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same, Mike. All right. Hold off. <laughs> so uh, so uh, I, I'll start then. I'm again, Matt Cook. I'm a librarian. I've been at CI for 10 years, and I've been a librarian for about 35 years. Uh, to any parents who are listening uh, uh, and, and students, but mostly parents, I want to let you know that all of the resources you will need uh, to succeed academically are available through our library. We, we will have everything. Um, but physically in the library, you're going to find uh, the library and then other two al allied services, the Writing and Multiliteracy Center and the Learning Resource Center. So I'll talk briefly about the library. And then um, uh, Abby will talk the writing about the Writing and Multiliteracy Center and Brooke will talk about the Learning Resource Center. I want to let you know that all, physically all three of these resources are in the library. Uh, intellectually, we work together to make sure that you are uh, you have you succeed academically and, and emotionally. Again, we want to make sure that we represent a welcoming space that supports our community. When we talk about the library, there's three things that I think about. One of them is place. Uh, the library is a gorgeous building, one of the few real true modernist gems in Ventura County, designed by Norman Foster, sorry, Lord Norman Foster. Um, and it's a glass, concrete, and steel. And it's just a wonderful place to be in it. Uh, the building adequately and, and well supports both individual learning, like if you're in a study carol, uh, but also group learning. We have group rooms that can be uh, reserved for students uh, to meet. And, um, and then in fact, a lot of the student groups actually meet inside the library. Uh, we're usually open somewhere around the idea between 8 a.m. and 10.30 p.m. We are open seven days a week. During the last two weeks of the semester, we stay open 24 hours. In short, the place itself is really important. You'll also find that we are kind of a, a, a in, well, we're not kind of, we are in between the academic campus and what we would call the, the kind of uh, allied uh, uh, food services like tortillas um, and, uh, and, and pizza pie, but then also the bookstore. So you'll find that you'll be walking through the library a lot, even if you're not going to be studying there. But you should study there too. Uh, we also have a lot of stuff. Again, academically, we have all of the books and the databases that you will need. You'll become very familiar with the phrase peer reviewed. We have access to peer reviewed content that you just can't get anywhere else. But we also have hardware, computers. We lend computers. Right now, a lot of students have computers for a semester long. We rent out uh, Wi Fi hotspots. We rent out cameras and AV equipment in case you need to do a video for one of your classes. So that's, that's cool. We have a lot of stuff. So we talked about place, we talked about stuff. And the next thing is people. Uh, the librarians at our, school, at our school, none of them are as handsome as I am. I mean, I think that's impossible, but all of them are as nice as I am. And so we take our reference services and our opportunity to engage with our students very seriously. All of the librarians all do reference duties. That means about four hours a week, you'll find me on the desk. And I th I'm there because it's a great way to engage students and to help them, to better understand what their needs are. Uh, we want to work with our students. Our estimates are that every one of the students who engage in our school or come to school and stay four years will have three library lectures from one of the librarians. So you will see us in class, you'll see us on campus. And the good thing is, is we're not evaluating you. Not, not only that, we're not assigning you work. We just want to see, uh, see you succeed academically. And that's my only goal. Um, so uh, I don't think anyone wants to hear more from a librarian. So I'm gonna turn it over to, uh, to Abby, but I do wanna end by saying, I'm interested in what you wanna ask me. What about the library do you need to know? And I'll be monitoring questions and answers. And at the end of the presentation, we can come back and answer all those. And feel free to do the same for Brooke and for Abby as well. All right, Abby? Hi everyone, it's so nice to be here and see you all virtually. I'm Dr. Abby Michelini. I'm Assistant Director of the Writing and Multiliteracy Center at CSUCI. And you might be asking, well, what is the Writing and Multiliteracy Center? Basically, we are a tutoring center here to help with any of the writing projects or multiliteracy projects that you are assigned 
in your time at CSUCI. Uh, basically, we are not subject specific. So if you had a paper for any class, be it nursing, English 101, sociology, psychology, doesn't matter, you can bring it to us um, and we will help you with that. Matt, if you hit the slide, I'll talk a little bit more about who we are. So who makes up this tutoring center? Who are we? Um, go ahead, back one. Sorry, thank you. Um, we are made up of three admin. There's Dr. Sohee Lee. She's our faculty director, and she's who you'll see in person at the WMC when uh, things are back in person. Um, there's me, and then there's also Marissa Ortega, who is our um, assistant uh, support staff person. We are primarily made up of undergraduate peer tutors here. So the way that you work with us, if you're interested, is we hire every fall um, students who show uh, an extra ability in writing or presenting. And then they go through an extensive training course that lasts the entire spring. And they're fully trained with us and they continue to tutor throughout their time at CSUCI. So right now we have 24 peer tutors who work with us to help you with writing or presenting. They are from all different majors. So sometimes people think, oh, this is only for English majors to come or to tutor. It's not like that at all. Writing and presenting crosses all disciplines. So um, we have diverse disciplines represented here. We also have tutors who speak Spanish fluently so that if you prefer to work in Spanish, even if the paper is written in English, they can work with you in Spanish. And occasionally we have tutors who work with other languages as well. You can see our beautiful tutor spaces at the bottom there. Um, and this is kind of an older picture from when we were back in person. That's the front of the library that um, Matt was just telling you about. But yes, we are fully online right now. So um, you can access our services anytime, seven days a week regardless. So whether we're online or in person, we are open seven days a week. Go ahead and hit the slide, please. Thank you and hit it one more time. So at the Writing and Multiliteracy Center, we serve not just undergraduate students, but if you were to stay on at CSUCI for a post-baccalaureate or graduate study program, we also serve uh, graduate students as well. So we do have a couple of faculty who are there to help with that or are there to help with applying to graduate school even. All of our services are free, but you can book up to two appointments a week of 30 minutes each. The only reason we restrict it is so that everybody gets a chance to sign up. So if you, you know, otherwise sometimes we do have um, a little bit of a, a bottlenecking when it comes to midterms or finals. So we say, okay, you can sign up for two 30 minute appointments a week or one one hour appointment. And then you can drop in every day on top of that to see if somebody is available. Go ahead and click. Um, that's every day, so as needed, and click one more time. Okay, and these are some of the things that we can help with. So essays, abstracts, summaries, lab reports, literature reviews, presentations, videos, research posters, personal statements, anything that you're asked to do at CSUCI, um, writing or presenting, we're here for that. I do wanna say you don't have to be drowning in order to use our services. So I know we're here for that too. Like if you feel like, you know, the class is overwhelming and I don't know how to write this paper at all, we're definitely here for that. Um, we're also here though for a second pair of eyes at all times. So Matt mentioned that you will all look up peer reviewed articles at some point in your time at CSUCI for your own papers. And I like to tell students the peer review doesn't go away as you get more degrees in life. It just gets more intense. So it's always a good idea to have a second pair of eyes. Peer reviewed articles means that it was reviewed by their peers, right? These academics, these scholarly people who write these articles that you're using in your papers. And you all as well um, can always benefit from a second pair of eyes. I can always benefit from a second pair of eyes. So please take advantage of this free resource. That's what we're here for. Go ahead and click, please. Okay, and then this is just a little preview of our website here. Um, on our website, you can see how to make an appointment or drop in. You can see our hours. You can see who the tutors are. 
and you can see the resources. Um, Matt, are you able to click on that link and open that or, or I can, whatever's easier. Are people seeing that or are they seeing the uh, PowerPoint? No, uh, just the slide still, sorry. All right. I can I can share my screen if you want. That would be easier. Is that is that working now? That's great. Yeah. Yes. So here's our main website. It's ccci.edu slash WMC. Writing a multi-literacy center, a lot of people call us the WMC. So um, we are part of the library resources. We're located in the library in person on the second floor at the back of the library. Um, and on the right hand side there, that red bar is pretty much everything you'll need to know to navigate our website. The first thing that pops up there is make an appointment. So if you click on that, you can see the easy ways to make an appointment with us. You can fill out an appointment request form. You can email us. When we're back in person, you can call us um, or you can drop into our drop in room. So there is a Zoom room all seven days that we're open where you can just pop in and see if somebody is available or if you wanna make an appointment right there for later, um, you can do that anytime. And then on the red bar again, you'll see about us, you can read more about us. Um, you, there's a meet the tutors button. So if you're interested in seeing like, who are the tutors here? Um, who might I work with? If you're interested in working with somebody who is familiar with a certain area, some of our tutors, um, even though they're from all different majors and they're all fully trained, you might feel more comfortable working with somebody who's super familiar with APA, maybe. Um, so you can go through their little bios on here and read about that and even request a tutor if you like. Um, with me right now, I actually have one of our lovely tutors, Brianna Marquez, who you just saw her picture on here. And um, I do wanna give her a chance to say hello and introduce herself and talk a little bit about what it's like to be a tutor at the WMC. Brianna. Hello everyone. Um, thank you for the introduction and uh, the amazing wrap up of what we do at the WMC. I'm currently one of the writing tutors here at the center. Um, and while we do work on writing papers and brainstorming from beginning to end, um, we also do a lot of multimedia work and multiliteracy. So if you have a presentation and you just need a second eye on your slides for proofreading, or uh, you just need a person there to kind of go through that presentation slide with, we're here for you. And we try to give you the best advice and tips and tricks that we as students have learned and what we've learned through our own personal research and our own workshops. Uh, but yes, yeah, so being a tutor here has been so exciting and so fun. Um, I personally am double majoring in English and communication. So while I still receive two T's that are completely different disciplines, um, I learned something new from their work and it offers a new perspective and a new um, set of eyes on a topic that I may not know anything about. And I really, from what I've experienced, the two T tends to learn it gets to re-explain their work and that allows them to kind of refresh their memory on um, what the information they need to put in their paper or their presentation and uh, we get to use those tools best as we can. But yeah, so my experience here as a tutor has been amazing. I learned so much about so many different disciplines here at CI um, and please do come in to our center Eventually, I think we'll be open again, uh, so in person, but currently we're on Zoom and we work our best um, despite all technical difficulties, either with our tutors or with two T's. Um, and we do do group, um, group appointments. So uh, don't fear that we tried our best to handle those adjustments and add as many people as we can if needed. Um, so yeah, our services, they, they exist, they're present. I'm trying to think if I touched on just about everything. I personally enjoy being a tutor. It's so fun and I get to see people again virtually, but it, it's a nice change of pace from all this virtual learning that we've been doing. Yes, thank you so much, Brianna. 
I just, I saw a question come up in the chat that I just want to make clear about our services at the WMC. All of our services are free. So uh, there is no charge at all. We only limit it to two sessions a week with a tutor for appointments um, so that everybody gets a chance to sign up. So that's the only reason why it's a little bit limited for appointments, but you can always drop in. And if someone's available to see you, you could have two appointments plus seven drop-ins a week. You could see us nine times for like five hours or something if you really wanted to. Um, and if somebody's available. So, okay. I will hand it over to Brooke. Thank you so much, Dr. Michelini. Hi, everyone, and congratulations on your acceptance and admission to CSUCI, and we hope that we get to welcome you um, in person, ideally, on campus in the fall. Um, so I'm going to give Matt one second to go back over to our PowerPoint, but I will introduce myself while we're doing that. My name is Brooke Masters. I'm the coordinator of Student Academic Success Services, and in my role, I get to oversee currently um, two separate centers, but they are becoming one virtual and physical unified center in the fall. So I oversee the Learning Resource Center and the STEM Center. I just like with the WMC, this is a photo from times past when we could all be together in person, but this was our team. I think this might have been fall 2019 actually at our at our training institute for fall 2019. Um, so we can go ahead and advance the slide map. So we have in the uh, one, one back, there we go. In the two centers, we have three staff members. So the professional staff members, myself um, overseeing both. And then Lissandra Garcia oversees the Learning Resource Center in the day-to-day -day management. And Sally Fernandez currently in the interim STEM student success coordinator position working with the STEM Center and the peer-led team learning program. And we can advance the slide. So um, what we, oopsie, <laughs> what we offer, I think we lost our, our screen share, Matt. Yeah. Um, currently, all of our services are being offered virtually, but when we are in person, um, we, uh, the LRC is located in the library on the second floor of the library, and that's where we will be in the fall for all in-person services as COVID safety practices allow, but we also are offering um, a parallel center virtually over a Zoom platform. So we are open seven days a week, um, hours across the day for free drop-in, walk-in academic support across a variety of disciplines. And this is a little bit more content specific. So if you are looking for homework help in a particular biology class and it's a particular homework problem, you could come to a specific biology tutor who is going to be able to help you with that. Um, all of our peer educators, almost all of them are also embedded in courses, <clears throat> particularly first year or high enrollment transfer courses where um, it's helpful to have a bridge to an academic peer educator and support system. So they're very familiar with your professors, with what's being asked in your syllabus. They've taken that course before, often with that same professor. So they have strategies for success that are very specific to the course that they're supporting. We also, um, if you look at that first picture on there, um, it's a very, it's a giant open space. We're very, very lucky to have this incredible collaborative learning space in the library. Ooh, cool. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> and a lot of students will use our space as a study hall and, and a tutor assisted study hall. So you come in, you bring your, your food, you bring your friends and you get to do your homework. And when you get stuck, you can raise a little flag that has the name of whatever you're working on, math, physics, chem, um, ESRM psychology, sociology, and a tutor can come over and help you just get kind of past whatever you're stuck on and away you go and keep moving on. So we have group study rooms, we have individual one-on-one -on -one tutor, we have um, group tutoring, um, and we also offer like workshops. So um, we have peer-led team learning workshops currently where one of those embedded peer educators also runs kind of collaborative peer interactive study workshops outside of the classroom. Um, and all of those services are being offered over sort of Zoom platforms right now. 
We also have additional resources when the campus is open for physical services. We have textbooks and calculators and laptops and anatomical models, microscopes, tissue slides, whiteboards, markers. You can check those out for use while you're in our center, in our space. Um, we hope to be able to have tablets that students can check out for the fall uh, where it will be helpful. Like if you do have some online courses, having that tablet that you can plug into your computer as an external whiteboard has been really, really um, helpful for our tutors. So we can advance the slide if you'd like, Matt. This is just a little, and if you could do your cool zoomy zoomy thing, that would be awesome, Matt. This is a sample of a schedule, um, like a STEM tutoring schedule. So you can see that this is Monday, and let's say it was three o'clock and you needed help with computer science, um, 362. You could look on, uh, yep, exactly like you see that little mouse doing, and you would see that Robert is working for upper level comp courses at three o'clock on Monday. So you could come into the center and know that Robert is going to be available to support you. Um, when you do go onto our website, you'll see that this exists and there are different days of the week at the bottom of the spreadsheet. So always make sure that you're on the right day of the week because the schedule does change in terms of tutor availability every day. And we can go to the next slide, please, Matt. Um, if you want to know who can support specific courses, you, you can drill down into this schedule that's also available on our website. So if you have, you know, one of those upper division math courses and you're not sure who can cover it, you can kind of scroll down and see, oh, real analysis, Adam, Sitlali, Dylan, Jessica, all of those folks can help me out. So that's kind of how to read our our schedules on the website. And speaking of our website, if you want to advance the slide map, if you can't remember how to find us or where to find us, if you go into the search engine on the CSUCI website, it's always in the upper right hand corner and you just type tutoring, you actually see that the three academic support centers at CSUCI come up with the first hit. So you have the STEM Center, the Learning Resource Center and the Writing and Multiliteracy Center. So that's how you can find any of us. Um, and our website, we have, um, very similar to the WMC, you can look at how to access online tutoring in the navigation menu. You can meet the tutors, see pictures of them and what um, subject areas they support and uh, sort of about us type of things. And all of our schedules are available. And if you are looking for a tutor, um, we hope for the fall that we will have in-person services, but we will also continue with our online Zoom tutoring as well. The ratio of that, we're not quite sure. We're, we're on the ride with everyone else waiting to find out how much in-person versus virtual services, but we've had a lot of success with our Zoom tutoring platform. Um, and we can kind of go to the next slide. So just to give you an idea, if you've never done tutoring before, I know that um, particularly when, when students were coming from um, high school, maybe there was a little bit of a stigma around asking for help. We turn that on its head once you get to CSUCI. We believe in collaboration. We believe that we go stronger and we go farther when we go together. And so that is what we support in the LRC and STEM Center. Um, these are students who have been where you have been. They have experienced the struggles. They have struggled themselves. Um, and it's not that our tutors have never ever failed an exam. In fact, we want them to have failed at least one time so they know what it feels like to get back up, dust off and continue on. That's how we become great teachers. Failure is a great teacher. So we normalize failure. We normalize asking for help. Um, but we also, you don't have to be struggling, right? You can also, um, if you like learning with other people or just just being around sort of a bustling room of active people and brains, you can come in and do your studying with us. And we can also consult with you about academic success behavior. So how are you dealing with time management? How do you block out times for studying? Are you cramming? Because we know from learning science, that's not the best way for long-term learning. So we can kind of do learning audits with you and help you adopt some behaviors that will be successful. Um, I also have a couple tutors here with me. I would love to introduce them and they can share a little bit about their experience. Um, so Megan, would you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Megan Ruggiero. I'm a nursing student sophomore here at CSUCI. I, I primarily focus on the uh, pre-nursing prereqs, your bio 210 and 11, your bio stats, your microbio, and your chem 110. 
My experience with the tutoring center, I didn't come here too often, but whenever I did, I always had a really helpful, engaging peer tutor to help me work through my problems. And I got to say, for Bio 2, 10, and 11, they had these anatomical models that we could follow through. Those were an absolute godsend when it came to the lab practicals that you would have to do for Bio 2, 10. Having that extra resource here was incredibly helpful for helping me stay ahead in CSUCI and be lucky enough to get into the nursing program. Yay! And really, really great. Awesome, Megan. Thank you so much. And now I'll introduce Patricio. Are you around, Patricio? Yeah, I'm here, Brooke. Hi. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Patricio. Um, some of you might have seen me yesterday, so if you did, hi again. Uh, I am a biology and global studies double major, and I am graduating this semester with a, also a chemistry minor. And next semester, I'm actually going off to medical school. And a big part of that is actually because a lot of these learning centers. Um, actually, when I came into CI, I actually had a C minus in high school chemistry, and I failed my first semester of AP Bio. But here I am graduating with a bio degree and a chem minor, right? So this helped, these resources were so helpful in teaching me how to learn and giving me a space to collaborate with others and pick up and build some of the skills that I never really had in high school. I used to go into the centers like every single day. I remember my math tutor, his name was Matt, and I used to go visit him every single day for pre-calc tutoring and then for calc tutoring too. And, you know, just some of the things I wish I would have known on day one going into CI was actually just how helpful these centers are and how much asking for help is something that we should all expect of ourselves and something that we should be um, proud to ask. So these centers are extremely helpful and I'm just so happy that you guys are able to hear about this and hopefully utilize them when you're here at CI. Awesome. Thank you so much, Megan and Patricio. Um, we are so lucky to have awesome peer educators on campus. They are kind, they are compassionate, they are brilliant, and they are here to help you. So um, yeah, if there's any questions that Matt or Abby or I can address, thank you so much for, for listening. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've learned so much actually from this presentation. Um, and as of right now, we don't have any questions uh, but I do have a couple of questions for you before we end our session. I know we have uh, about like four minutes, um, but I did have a question. Um, during pre-COVID, uh, there's some events that occurs in the library uh, during finals week um, with our students. Is that true? Like where students could wear pajamas or what is? what are those? It's, it, it's, it's become a part of the fabric of CI, uh, and I've been here for, for 10 years, so I think it's pretty true to say that, that the last two weeks of each semester, the library is open 24 hours. Uh, and so uh, uh, it's all volunteer work. I'll do a shift from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. And students actually, one student will bring in a tent and set up a tent, and uh, other wow. students will wear their pajamas the whole time. Um, some student groups uh, will get together pizza to be delivered, you know, at the last time, like 11 p.m. or something like that. Uh, and we put out snacks and we try to make coffee and uh, and it's become a, a, a part of, again, of the fabric of, of Channel Islands. But I think what it really represents is, in my estimation, the commitment of, of, of uh, Abby and Brooke and, and the librarians, uh, our support services, uh, our commitment to student success and how much we care about our students and are willing to do those kinds of um, well, uh, things that require that, that, you know, I don't have kids, so stay up late is really hard for me. So it's really a drag doing it, but it's fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is so cool. I didn't know that students could tent up there. Uh, but Matt, we do have a question for you before we end. Uh, what type of special collections does the uh, library hold? Yeah, so uh, uh, the best thing to do is orient yourself at the uh, through the, the John's Board Broom uh, website and go to special collections, but we have some really cool things. The, the biggest one of, of note is a photographer named Santi Vasali, who uh, one of the biggest jobs he had was shooting Martin Luther King's funeral, um, but he was an editorial photographer and, and we've got about uh, 100,000 images from his collection. Uh, we also have some stuff relating to the, the history of the hospital, uh, although we don't have any patient records or anything like that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for our library service learning resource center and writing center for all that information. I know our students are really excited. You know, maybe they'll have their 10th one day during finals week. That's so fun. Mm -hmm.